What's up you guys, welcome to another vlog in my series. For some of my older subscribers, you know me for my manga reviews. For some of my more recent subscribers, you know me for my daily streams. And um, if vlogs aren't your thing, you know, just click off this video. I will be having a stream up or I will be having a video up soon. Um, someone commented on one of my older vlogs a couple of years back. I just saw it yesterday. And they were talking about how they have a cousin that has been constantly flaking on them. And how they want to establish a relationship with this relative of theirs. They want to bring them into their life. They've been trying to make a very strong effort to bring this relative in. They have tried to meet them halfway. They have done everything that they could to accommodate them and try to make them feel welcome and even you know meet them on their level or meet them on their interests and stuff like that but they have been constantly flaked on and how at this point they feel disrespected and kind of hurt because this is a relative that they want to bring into their life to show around their own family and um this relative of theirs is not being receptive to that or this relative of theirs is flaking on them now i want to talk about when you're doing too much in a friendship or a relationship but we're mainly going to focus on friendships a lot of relationship experts talk about different love languages or ways people express themselves through verbal communication through physical contact through um giving gifts or giving things and um i think friendships work in a similar way you know we all have different desires and wants from friendships and relationships and we all have different ways of expressing ourselves are getting those needs and requirements met some of us prefer verbal communication constantly or consistently with someone and that to us shows that they care that to us shows that they value us because they take time out of their day on a consistent basis to communicate with us um for other people there is you know somebody that you can reach out to when you're in a bad place when you're feeling down you know somebody that's not a constant presence in your life but somebody that when no one else in your life understands what's going on or empathizes this person is able to sit down with you they don't judge you they don't question you they just sit there with you and they know exactly what to say and they know exactly what to do to get to you to make you feel better to make you feel at peace to give you stability and balance right and um some of us we express ourselves through gifts we have friends that like to treat us to stuff friends that like to do stuff for us or sometimes we like to do that type of stuff for our friends and um i guess the first sign that you're doing too much in a friendship or relationship is this feeling of I guess unhappiness, unease, I suppose. When you feel, I guess, exhausted or tired. You feel like you're putting yourself out there. You feel like um, you're being the shoulder or you're being somebody's rock in the storm a little bit too often. Or you're doing things or you're giving too many gifts to somebody but you're constantly meeting somebody else's needs you're constantly meeting somebody else's requirements or desires and a relationship or a friendship and um you begin to feel that something's lacking you begin to feel that um you can't really keep up things the way they're going i think what can be done to fix that, I guess? I think stepping away. I'd say to step away. That's my personal advice. To step away from it, depending on what it is. 
I feel like the first step is always to clearly communicate how you feel, you know, to just have a honest heart to heart with somebody, communicate how you feel, communicate that you feel that things are unbalanced, that you're putting more energy into maintaining a friendship or a relationship and um, you're doing more out of the two of you, right? And um, if they're a mature person, they'll sit down, they'll understand, and they'll try to work it out with you. They'll try to meet you halfway and figure out what can be done to amend this problem. Now, you could be in a situation where, you know, there's an immature person, they get defensive, they make it seem like they're the victim. And um, I think in a situation like that, you just be respectful, but you walk away. You give it time and you walk away. Um, I think one thing I really do have to say here though, not all relationships are made equal and all friendships are made equal. And sometimes the dynamics aren't always gonna be in a perfect balance, you know? No, just because you always treat your friends out to dinner or you always do stuff for your friends or you always gift your friends things or you make time out of your schedule for your friends and, um, you know, you're always there for them or, you know, so-and-so, whatever your love language or your friendship language is or your way of expressing that you value someone. One thing and one important thing to remember is that not everyone is built the same. Not everybody has the same time schedule as you to give as much time or to invest as much time in the friendship or the relationship. Not everybody has the same amount of resources that you have to gift or do things or lavish um, items or you know services upon a friend or you know a significant other. So while you may be able to treat your friend out every single day or every other day or every weekend, it may not be the same for them. And I think that is an important thing to consider before all of this, right? That some people aren't built the same way. Some people aren't in the same situation as you to do what you can do for them. Some people may not have the same mental fortitude to be your rock in the storm, to be your lighthouse in the middle of the ocean or, or, you know, in a stormy sea. And um, that's something very important to consider. But what I am going to say is if someone cares about you, if someone cares about you, whether it's a friend or a significant other, they will take the time out of their day if it's verbal communication if it's just consistent communication they will take the time out of their day to communicate with you whether it's a text at the end of the day just kind of telling you hey just making sure you're okay or you know when you're down or you know you're in a very rough spot and you just need somebody to listen whether it's just a reassuring text or whether it's just a little small phone call it's not really the size of the gesture. It's not really the um. It's not really the quantity of the gesture, right? It's the quality of it. It's the fact that someone is making time. It's the fact that someone's making an effort to do something. And I think that's what really gets to all of us, right? That's what really makes all of us kind of feel somewhat um unhappy or dissatisfied with a friendship or a relationship right where we're putting in more energy into something than someone else is and um they can't take the time and energy whether it's even a small gesture to prove that they value us i don't know how many times i've talked to some females that i've been interested in or how many times i've had friends um that um I've been communicating with, but I've had some friends and I've had, you know, some romantic interests and, um, you know, they're people that 
they can go days and weeks and months without talking to somebody. You know, they are perfectly fine not initiating contact or conversations and stuff like that. And that's because they have been... They have been conditioned and they have learned to become comfortable with just being to themselves. And that's not a bad thing. In fact, that's a strength, I'd say. But um, as far as, in my opinion, as far as friendships and relationships, I think both parties need to make an effort towards something, right? You can't always be the one initiating a conversation. You can't always be the one pushing for something. You can't always be the one being the actor you know sometimes you want someone to reach out to you and so i don't know i've had a lot of um potential relationships and you know potential friendships just kind of fall to the wayside because it's one of those things where if i'm not the one initiating a conversation if i'm not the one initiating anything it just kind of withers away and um i don't know about you but i'm i'm tired I'm tired. I'm 25. I, at this point, I, I'm i a little bit too old to be catering to somebody. I'm a little bit too old to just be constantly putting the first foot forward all the time. Now, that's not to say, hey, I'm not going to try to initiate contact most of the time. It's just, it shouldn't have to be something. You know, you, your friendship, your relationship, whatever it is, no matter what dynamic it is, whether it's verbal whether it's gifts, whether it's, you know, anything else, you shouldn't have to be the one to constantly put energy into it. You shouldn't be the one to constantly have to be the caretaker of the relationship or the friendship, right? It shouldn't be something that if you neglect it for even a little bit, right? If you just stop putting that 100% energy into it, that it just suddenly dies, it's supposed to be something where both parties help to make it grow. Both parties help to maintain it. And I think if the other party isn't willing to help you even in the slightest bit, or if they aren't willing to even show you even in the slightest bit that they value you enough to even try, just let them go, right? Just be honest with them up front about it, about how you feel. Try to see if you can reach some, like, compromise and you know some type of agreement or some type of resolution to improve communication to improve the um the um strength of the friendship or the relationship but if you can't come to that just let it go right and um i think that's my advice to the dude i commented to him as much but also they was just like i feel like i just want to just rail into him i just want to vent it out i just want to tell him i just want to vent out all my frustrations and it's a very human thing it's a very human thing to want to vent out your frustrations it is it, it, it is all right you feel wrong you feel wrong you 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 feel like you've been putting in all this time and energy into something and somebody's just been pretty much giving you their ass to kiss pretty much right and um you feel angry you want to vent it you want to vent it out you just want to be frustrated you want to just send them something strongly worded you just you just want to do all of that type of stuff right at the end of the day if the person values you if the person cares about you all you have to do is be mature have a very calm message express how you feel but if it's somebody that truly doesn't value you, it doesn't matter if you give them a strongly worded message. It doesn't matter if you give them a very calm message, right? None of that will matter. It does not matter at all. At the end of the day, if someone doesn't value you as a person, they don't value what you bring to the relationship or the friendship, and they don't want to be a part of your life, they don't want to maintain that connection with you, then just just cut the just cut ties cut your losses and go work on yourself improve yourself and um things will change for the better i can guarantee you a lot of the times that i have cut my losses with people and just moved on 
there have been a good handful of situations where people have came back into my life unexpectedly. And it is mostly that those situations have happened when I've been working on myself and when I have been trying to move forward. So if people want to come back into your life, they will make an effort to come back into your life. But you just got to cut your losses. You got to work on yourself. Um, to the dude that commented on my old blog, I appreciate your comment um, about your relative. It is kind of frustrating to read your comment. It is frustrating to have you go through that, right? And I understand your frustration. But um, seems like you have an amazing family. And if your relative is not willing to be a part of that, or they're not trying to be a part of that, or, you know, they have constantly flaked on um, offers that you gave them to be a part of that, focus on people. Focus on other people in your life that you want to be around your family, that you want to bring into your family that you want to share that happiness with because you seem like you're very proud of your family and you seem like you're a very 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 nice person but i don't know how deep your connection with your with your relative goes and um i'm pretty sure most of us have a sibling or a relative that we want to be a part of our lives we want to bring them in everything we want them to share in our joys right and um, we, we just want to have that communication with them. I have uh, I have a sibling of mine that I want to have constant, consistent communication with. And, you know, it, it just ain't going to work, right? Um, all of my attempts to have that have just failed. I, I don't think I'm going to give up trying. But I'm at a point now where I don't want to put energy into something that someone else isn't willing to put energy into. And um, I don't know, they're your, your, they're your family. The way I feel about it is sooner or later, they're going to want to be a part of your life. They're going to want to be a part of your family. And, um, you know just try to work on yourself and make sure that when they do you might be open and receptive to them being a part of your family but just make sure you hold yourself to a higher standard and that you don't maintain a friendship or a relationship where you're food where you're you know just putting in more effort than you're getting back right i mean i don't know I don't know. I, I always see these relationship experts that keep telling you, you have to be the trophy. You have to be the prize. You, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta make it so you are almost on an even playing field. Relationships and friendships are not chess. I mean, I get what they're saying, you know, relationships and friendships are not chess in my opinion, though. It's not something where you have to think six and seven steps ahead on how the other person's thinking, right? I think at the end of the day, if you like to lavish somebody with attention, if you like to lavish somebody with gifts or whatever, or you know, whatever, do your thing. Just make sure at the end of the day, you value yourself enough as a person to walk away from somebody that doesn't value you enough to give you a time, attention, or reciprocate anything at all, right? That's all I'm saying. You don't have to be the prize. You don't have to be the trophy. You you don't have to be like this 50-50 person because most relationships aren't 50-50, right? And um, I don't know. Maybe that is how human psychology works if they're relationship experts. I mean, these relationship experts always say, well, you know, if you're doing all of this, you know, someone clearly doesn't value you. Are they kind of just see you as easy? If they see you as easy, then they're garbage. They're garbage. If that's the basic human psyche, then they're garbage and they're not worth your time. Now, maybe these relationship experts are right, you know, maybe. But I don't think that relationships or friendships should ever be like chess. It should never be something where I have to plan six or seven moves ahead of how I'm going to maintain this relationship with somebody. Either me and you vibe and me and you are on a level where we both value each other and we value each other's time and attention and... um 
each other's presence enough that we want to maintain this friendship or this relationship or we don't and if we don't if one of us is clearly doing more than the other one or one of us feels unvalued by the other one we need to cut ties I feel like I ramble way too long in this video and I know you guys are probably wondering what the freak is going on in my hair I I put a hairband up and I, I don't know I, I got tired of having my hair up either in the back or in the, whatever whatever don't don't focus on it but yeah this has been a very long video we've been going on for 20 minutes but um yeah this is my vlogs I don't know if you guys like my vlogs uh if you do subscribe I would greatly appreciate it um if you want me to talk about something else another vlog topic comment it below if you have had a similar experience comment it below I would like to you know talk with you guys I would like to you know get to know all of you on at least a little bit more of a personal level right we've all gone through something like this we've all been putting in more effort than we're getting back or we valued someone more than we've been valued in a friendship or a relationship and I think we could all come together on it so I'll see you guys. Bye.